The Castle Lager Premier Soccer League moves on to match day six, and as usual, our interesting jewels are lined up for the weekend. Matches are kicking off on Saturday when champions Angezi Platinum seek to get their defense of the title on track with a win over visiting Highlanders at the Power Pub. Ngezi come into this match licking the wounds of a 2 1 loss away to Green Fuel, and Highlanders would have to be wary of a backlash from a side whose defense of a title has seen the Mondoro side win just once in five matches. They come up against a Highlander side that knows no defeat this season. Highlanders assistant coach Ajahn Sao is not reading much between the lines of both his team's good start to the season and Ngezi's unpredictable form. As a club, I, I think it's very critical uh, we focusing on ourselves. And uh, pertaining to uh, Gezi, we respect them uh, just like any other opponent. Yeah. At the Butter Stadium in Gweru, Telwana take on a Yada and on paper, the Gweru side look favourites to beg three points over a Yada side that is winless in its opening five games. For a side coming from Division 1, Telwana have stood their ground amongst the big boys and their two wins and two draws in five matches serve as a good indicator of their balance in the big league. On the other side, the Yada seek their first win and given the way they play, they do not look too far away from posting a victory anytime soon. Whilst they have made avoidable mistakes at the back, they do create good chances up front which they unfortunately fluff. Polishing up on those weaknesses could see them harvest their first set of maximum points. They could also do well to utilize the potency of their star man Kama Billiard, perhaps by dropping him deeper than at the top of the strike force or even playing him wide. Whatever it takes at the moment, it doesn't look like they need miracles to rescue their cause, they just must polish their act. At Luveve, two teams with contrasting results from last weekend lock horns when Chicken Inn host Green Fuel. The Gamecocks were pipped 1 0 away at Sakuba by Manika, and they know it's time things took a turn for the better. Their captain, Kolisani Jovo, believes once their finishing corrects its shortcomings, they will start winning. With the strikers who are playing forward, I think they are not scoring, and it's a worry to the coaches. Because in order for us to win games, we have to score. So if we are not scoring, there are so many chances of drawing many games. So in order for us to win, I think we have to score more goals, we have confidence going forward. They are helping each other as a team. In the five matches that they have played, they have fired blanks in three games. Where they score, they have won and drew. On the other hand, Green Fuel will want to pick it up from their victory over Angezi last weekend to make it three wins this season. Green Fuel's other two matches are a surprising loss to Chegutu and a draw versus Simbabora. It's going to be an interesting duel, pitting two coaches in Joy Antipas and Rodwell Zakama. So much experience between the two, you can almost predict a highly technical game, likely low scoring, unless the Gamecocks polish on their finishing. At Rufaro Stadium, students' herentals are coming to their match against Manika Diamonds after totalizing in their away test at Nyamunga last weekend, where they beat hosts ZPC Kariba by two goals to one for their coach Paul Benza's first win ever since taking over from Kumbirai Mutue Kuziva. They face a Manika side that also tested victory for the first time last weekend, and both teams will be hoping to use the match as proof that last weekend's results were no fluke. The final game on Saturday is between newcomers Bikita Minerals and Bulawa Chiefs. At the beginning of the season, you would have never predicted Chiefs would be up amongst the top four after five games. Chiefs have punched above their weight, holding traditional giants, Highlanders and Dynamos to draws, whilst posting impressive wins over Wange and Yada. Yet against Bikita Minerals, Chiefs could meet their match, more so wounded by their 2-1 loss to RNL. Again, it shall be an interesting battle of tactics between Chiefs Tulani Svanda and Bikita's highly respected soldier Minuka. What we are we are mainly concerned with is uh, we are more performance oriented than results oriented. We, we have got a young squad so they need to improve. They need to be better than yesterday and they need to be better tomorrow than today. Uh, that, that's, that's the reality. So we do not want to put much pressure on them. We, we are just assessing how they are growing in terms of uh, their confidence, in terms of their play. Uh, are, they, are, they, are they gaining each day, each game as it comes. We don't want to put pressure, we don't want to put targets on these boys. We want them to develop, we want them to be better players tomorrow. The action moves on to Sunday and without doubt the peak of the day's matches is the tie between Simbabora and Dynamo's Edward Zanai in Shamba. Simbabora, a very strong side on paper, much as their log position at number three suggests, no, that this one is for them to win more than just for the three points, but also the breaking rights. A simple gaze at Go, Buju Go's lineup reveals a temporary flavor, both on the pitch in their technical and even executive. 
achieve. On Sunday, they shall seek to make it four wins in six games by defeating a Timbare side still searching for a run of winning consistency following three draws and a single win in a season that they began with a loss. At the Baobab in Gezi, newcomers Chekutu Pirates returned to familiar territory after their visit to Bulawayo's Papa Fields ended in a 3 0 loss to Highlanders. They host a Wange side also smarting from a 2 0 defeat to Simbabora. Yet Wange had begun the season promisingly, choking a win and a draw, only to capitulate with a run of three losses thereafter. Just like Wange, Chekutu also lost thrice, won once and drew once. It's a game that could go either way, though Chekutu, by virtue of the home factor, appear slight favourites. At Rufaro, Caps United, dead as ZPC Kariba side that has also made an indifferent start to the season. Last weekend, ZPC stumbled at home to Herontals and away to Caps, they have a tall order as Makepeke began to utilize home advantage in their search of a third win of the season where they have lost twice to Chicken Inn and Pigita Minerals. On the other hand, Caps beat Herontals and RNL and the Kariba Powermen have to bring their A game to Rufaro lest they suffer yet another defeat that may bring alarm bells for coach Newton Chitewe. The final match on Sunday pits former champions FC Platinum up against newcomers RNL Movers at Luveve Stadium. On their day, Platinum play some breathtaking football, arguably the best passing team in the country, and RNL will have to be at their best, particularly defensively, if they are to contain the marauding miners of Zishavane. RNL shall be buoyed by their first victory last week over Bigita Minerals, and a win over Platinum will be a grand achievement to the league debutants who have drawn against defending champions Ngezi, Chicken Inn, and Herendals with a loss to Caps their only defeat. We need to be at our best, be organized too, so that we, 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 we don't give them more room to play. Yeah, it's not going to be easy, but I think it's going to be an interesting game. That does it then as we look ahead to match day six of the Castle Lager Premier Soccer League, a full program of action lined up across the country.